Hello, welcome to TVC Media News. Now, four years after the nationwide NSARS protest, demonstrators on Sunday gathered at the Lekki Toll Gate to mark its remembrance, but were dispersed and arrested by the police officers with heavy presence at the scene. A few hours later, the police public relations officer confirmed on his ex handle that the arrested protesters have been released. The presence of security officers ensured free flow of vehicular movement at the toll gate. In 2020, youths in Nigeria called for an end to police brutality, demanding the disbandment of the special anti robbery squad, among others. Former federal lawmaker Shehu Sone described the NSAS protest as historic, but was flawed by the lack of clear leadership. Mr. Sony, who spoke on TVC News program Politics on Sunday, emphasized that although protests are lawful, demonstrators must refrain, uh, refrain from destroying government properties. That's a strong message, and the message was sent, and she's no longer But unfortunately, the problem we had was that there was no clear leadership uh, to consolidate on that and also to make that into a movement. The aspect of police reform also came to the public. And it then also, from that time, and I believe to this time, uh, people in government now see the value of consulting young people and also including them into affairs of governance. And people should not say they will not protest. The issue is that don't just start burning the right. Don't right. just subscribe to violence. Don't try killing people in the name of protest. Meanwhile, in this next report, we'll x-ray some activities of the Nigeria Police Force for the after the NSAS protest. The NSAS protest of 2020 has remained a period of soul-searching for the country and the police in particular. Different reports reveal that 51 persons lost their lives, 11 police officers and 7 soldiers. By counting their losses, the police authority revealed that out of the 5,506 units of police stations in the country, 205 were either burnt or vandalized, armory attacked, and firearms looted. According to them, out of the 73 deaths recorded, 22 were policemen. Public and private businesses weren't spared. It was a dark period for the country but have lessons been learned? Police accountability is a fundamental pillar to any democratic governance. And one of the lessons uh, that I believe that we have all learned uh, between uh, 2020 and now uh, is that we have not really put uh, some infrastructure to operate uh, in an accountable manner uh, that will help for uh, scrutiny around the right violations. To be very honest and be balanced, uh, the state had made efforts. And one of the efforts they have made is that they have put in place a, an act that is very new uh, that also succeeded uh, the over 74-year-old uh, previous uh, legal framework. If, for instance, uh, the creation of the complaint response unit, which has been there for a while, uh, but it was strengthening the public complaint group, uh, which was also an infrastructure to manage uh, confidence building. And all of these mechanisms uh, were actually increase the capacity uh, to also help independence. Uh, but again, one of the setbacks that we have noticed perhaps was around uh, the inability to process uh, some of the fundamentals. And one is the issue of the regulation. You cannot have a new police act and not have a new regulation that will be able to help you uh, have complementarity. 